Hey everybody, it's your boy Sarge. I'm at uh, Comic Con, and this is the debut of Val's Odd by CA3D Designs. Yeah, I hope you guys like it. So we're starting off with a base, and now I'm uh, going in and um, putting some highlights with um, a lighter tone. I had to speed this video up because it's super long, so I'm sorry, but um, had a lot of content to, to fit in this. But um, yeah, uh, getting in there and um, and adding a little bit uh, more lighter tone to them. And I want to do both heads the same. One head's gonna have the uh, the the his blue eyes, and the other one's gonna have his light up uh, eyes. And um, I will go over him again with uh, another uh, brown tone. Just I just want him to um, look like an actual brother, you know. Um, <laughs> A lot of people, uh, you know, they paint these guys and um, it doesn't, um, for me, I don't see, um, sometimes I don't see uh, what I normally see in my own, you know, um, ethnicity, uh, especially like with the hairlines and the haircuts, they don't um, seem to get get it that we like our hairlines straight across and not 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 a widow's peak or a receding hairline and uh the fade uh sometimes it's uh a little um out of whack and um what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is go in here and try to um you know fix it to my standards as a barber <laughs> and uh and uh, try to get these skin tones right So yeah, I, <clears throat> I didn't want to rush getting him done. I wanted to take my time with him because he's so important to me um, as a character. But um, I wanted it to be great quality so I can show at Comic Con and have him be my centerpiece. And he, he did well. A lot of people were gravitated to him. Some people didn't know him, but a lot of people asked about him. And, um, yeah, he was definitely a success. But, yes, uh, Val Zod, he's, um, he's kind of like a cousin or adopted cousin of Superman. And on Earth 2, uh, he was sent to Earth with... Uh, uh, Kara. So they they both uh, existed in that timeline. So he is Earth Two Superman. Getting his eyes done. Right now I'm using uh, um, a Tamiya um, paintbrush. I like I like the feel of it. It's wooden. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, makes me feel like I'm a, um, an Asian artist. Yeah, sorry if you can't see. Um, I'm I'm getting in there, uh, trying to get this detail done. I have my my big glasses on, and I'm just trying to get as close as I can, cause you know he's not he's not humongous, so um, and it's also not a miniature. But uh, to see those eyes, you gotta you gotta get in there. So yeah, I got the whites in there now. And I'll come back in with some color. And uh, with the whites, I do mix uh, a little white, gray, and, and, and pink to get that color. I want it to look as much like as living flesh as possible. Hopefully on a bigger TV, you can see what I'm doing.
So here I'm gonna add some um, red wash to those eyes to give it that effect as if it, he's um, getting ready to, to burn the town down. After sponging it out, now I'm taking my um, brush and I'm working that red into the rest of the face <clears throat> because uh, the rest of the face is affected. When you got laser eyes, <laughs> you can uh, blow a hole in the building. It's not just the eyes that, that are affected. You got the rest of the face. Now to add a little life to those lips. And, and, and the rest of the face. But um, I try to do both of them the same. Even though one has the effect. Uh, um, but I still want it, you know, to have the same um, um, portrait. Um, the base is um, pretty much standard. Um, I'm just hitting it with some... Um, I hit it with a black base first, and now I'm going over with a, a, a um, metallic color. And now I'm going over the, um, the next part of the base that he's perched on. And I'm um, doing um, some white and grays, and now I'm going with some um, red and this time I'm using some um, army painter speed paint so yeah I'm giving that rock a red glow because <clears throat> it's burning up so it's, it's got to have a little red glow Now I'll go with a, um, a brighter uh, color with a little orange in there.
making sure I'm adding uh, orange to those flames. It's just going to make them pop. I'm starting to um, really like this harder than steam back uh, or stern back uh, airbrush uh, that they made for Angel Gerardo, Gerardes. <clears throat> it's for miniatures, but um, for the amount of uh, paint that I'm using, uh, it's working out. Now, of course, you're not going to do any big jobs with this, but um, I'm I'm doing detail work right now, so... Um, I mean, having to empty my cup out. But I do plan on uh, getting another airbrush. Uh, same brand, just a um, larger cup. Cause I, I want to do more work with those. And I, I like the way that, you know, how easy it is to clean. Um, basic uh, cape. Doing some, doing white with some gray highlights. Now here I am. Uh, he's a Zenithal highlighted, and um, I'm going in with my grays, uh, um, the dark gray first, and then the lighter ones afterwards. Yeah, I'm trying out this uh, Vallejo um, Express color. Um, it's it's a white, but it looked gray. So just wanted to check it out and see how it works. I got them masked off now, so I can do the blue. I got that symbiote uh, on the on the S. <laughs> so yeah, I'm basing it with. Um, I believe it's a Vallejo. Um, no, it's not Vallejo. It's the um, Army Painter um, <clears throat> Speed Paint. Now I'm going in with a uh, lighter color for the highlights. And I'm using um, a metallic uh, uh, blue, and that is from the same brand for his uh, gauntlets. 
and you can see that that masking that I've been using um, the camo uh, mask is working out well for me because uh, I stuck those uh, I stuck it in in the in the S's and it masked it all perfect. All you gotta do is just press it in and shape it up a little bit and you're in there. Now the um, belt buckle, hitting it with a gold. And um, now it's time f to do some washing. And I'm actually using um, uh, some color uh, for the wash. Making sure that I actually uh, dilute it with some uh, water also. I just want those muscle tones to pop. And I'll, I'll go back with a dry brush <clears throat> and, uh, and get it to pop even more.
Yeah, I'm getting full coverage with this wash. I don't want any ashy marks on there left out. Get that S. Don't want to leave that out. All right. Here's the final product.